Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today, we are going to be taking a look at Tamashi Chronicles of Ascend by Awaken Realms Light. This is a fully cooperative and also soloable board game that uh, takes place in a very cyberpunk feeling universe uh, where you are going to be going through playing campaigns, multiple missions that link together, uh, upgrading your character and uh, you know and exploring. It's, it definitely has gonna have some 4x uh, elements to it. Uh, has hex tiles, has some really cool miniatures. And, uh, you know, a long time ago, we did a, you know, Kickstarter preview for this and Awaken Realms sent this out to us so we can actually now take a look at the final uh, version of the game. So we're going to do an unboxing of the core box as well as the, uh, the Kate's Diary expansion and the Forbidden Chapter as well. So we've got these two over here, but we're going to start off looking at the core box. Big thanks to Awaken Realms for sending this out. If you guys are new here to the channel, we are doing a big giveaway right now for a $100 Amazon gift card that's running until uh, that's running through Halloween of this year. So you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos uh, and have a chance to enter to win that. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into this core box. All right, so we're gonna take the box top off. Now this is a, uh, a soloable game, but it is a one to four player game as well. I know a lot of folks like uh, cooperative games uh, and a lot of folks like soloable games as well. So it's going to be able to work for both of that. So starting off, we got a rule book here with uh, lots of full color, uh, full, co full color rule book. And uh, and so there's, there's kind of two different parts to this game. You have like the board, uh, you have these these hex boards that you'd be flipping over tiles and doing some exploring, but you also have like this hacking element where you're going to be putting these uh, tokens down on on this sort of grid uh, here, which we're going to take a look at that here in a moment. Um, pretty cool. We've got a lost pages rule book too. Uh, I think this was one of those uh, Kickstarter extra bits. Uh, we've got standees uh, cardboard here, so we can punch these out if we would like. But I'm gonna try and oh, oh, oh I'm gonna try and get you back in there together just for now. All right, we've got a lot of cardboard, a lot of cardboard tiles. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna punch out every single one of these right now, uh, but we've got, um, gosh, what is that? Well, like six uh, six sheets of of different cardboard tiles and some more tokens and standees. Uh, but basically, they're going to all sort of look like this where you have, and, and, and this should be kind of familiar to a lot of uh, the folks who played like Awaken Realms games, or if you've seen the previous video uh, where I talk about the game and the gameplay, uh, I'll put a link to that uh, at the end of the video as well. Um, but uh, but yeah, these are really nice and thick and they all have, will have the same back. So it adds, and you'll be building your kind of your game board this way and then flipping over and, and discovering. That's, uh, that's a kind of cool 4X element to these, this game. Uh, we have miniatures. We're going to take a good close look at these miniatures in a second. And we have a really nice sheet on the top to tell you what goes where. This is a, kind of a big deal because a lot of times when you're putting these away, um, it, it's just like, wait, wait, this, this one kind of fits over here, but then when, you know, you can get confused. So it's nice to have an insert. Um, we're going to look at these here in just a moment. Uh, I'm, going to do the, I'm going to do a separate uh, section, but let's, let's just get through the, the core box and then we'll hone in on the miniatures. All right, so inside the box, we've got um, we've got these large, oversized cards here. Uh, these are, oh, these are pretty cool. I love the art style here, too. Uh, Awaken Realms always has really good art in their games, and uh, I, I've been playing a lot of Cyberpunk 2077 with the new DLC that just came out, um, and so I've just, I've just I've been an enjoyer of, of cyberpunk for a long time and uh so i love cyberpunk related stuff now these are really cool boards uh you've got these raised areas here so you can fit your cubes in there really nice and so i'm just going to kind of show you a side view of the board so you can get a sense of that depth that double layered cardboard which is very very cool all right um so so we've got uh we've got four of these and then we've got, oh, we've got some, some tracker, some tracker sheets, some progress sheets. And uh, we've got some of these 
Well, they, and, this is, and this is, I think, story materials. So if you're, you're going through your campaign, you're going to have the prologue and then different missions that you can go through. And of course, those are going to correlate to some of those different card, those oversized cards that we've seen before. Um, this is a time track here. And this is also that nice uh, extra thick cardboard. And then we've got some, uh, some extra little boards here as well. I'm going to pull this whole top layer off. <clears throat> and we've got a whole other layer. So this is something I love about Awakened Realms. And I've seen this in just about all of their games, like Nemesis and, uh, you know, with this, so many of them. Uh, they have just the best inserts ever. This is such a really, really good uh, just organizer inside. Uh, we've got our dice in here, and, uh, and these are super cool. Um, liking these. Okay. Um, and then we have... Got these dice as well. We've got another tray here. Whereas you get, you know, all your, your cardboard and you get everything punched and disassembled. You have one tray. You have another tray in here with all of these other bits. You've got all of your tokens in here. You've got your clear blue tokens. Let me take a look at some of these tokens real quick. So, so and these aren't just these aren't just acrylic squares. But these are, like, they're all cut, you know, for specific purposes. This is really nice. And, and the thing is that the fact that they come out, you can come out and set them in a common area on the table. It makes for easy setup and easy teardown, which is really, really cool. We've got some extra bonus cards. I think these are uh, probably some of uh, the extra Kickstarter, uh, or I'm sorry, not Kickstarter, but Stretch Goal Rewards. Uh, they're on GameFound, not Kickstarter. <laughs> um, oh, look at these. Oh, my gosh, look at these bags. There is a like a draw bag element. Oh my goodness, this is these are gorgeous. Look at these. Wow. Look at the cat. Oh, this one has an owl. Oh man. This is incredibly cool. What a really nice touch, you know, to have that in here, too. Um, we've got lots of different decks of cards, um, some locked components, which you probably want to hold on to those until the campaign tells you to. Um, we've got lots of, of full-size cards. Now, these are going to fit in here. Um, I, I think you might begin to run out of room if you sleeve them all because there's not a whole lot of spare room in here right now. Um, I guess you, this is probably could be used as overflow, though. So you probably will have room. Um, a lot of these are locked. I'm trying to remember what all of the different types of cards. There's cards for the different uh, the, the different cyberware that you can upgrade. There's cards for, like, enemies. Um, there's all kinds of mission cards as well. Um, and there there's about, what, scenario generator, the map setups. Um, I think this is an enemy, right? Or no, is this a player card? Is it, yeah, because you can, you kind of yeah, choose different roles as you play too, if I remember correctly. So I'm not going to go through all of the cards. I will open up some of them so we can get a, a better look at some of the card art as well. And then we're going to look at those miniatures. All right, I just uh, wanted to give you guys a closer look at some of the cards. These are different bodies that you can sort of jump into. Assassin, Knight, Rogue, Scout, Hacker, Slasher, Quaminator, Visionary, um, oh, there's, a, there's bots. I think these are enemies. That you, yep, these are enemies. Okay. So you've got lots of different enemies. Scanning bots. Yeah, there's a very kind of dystopian future, cyberpunk, Matrix. Think of all kinds of cool stuff like that for, you know, to give you an idea of the type, type of setting that you're in. Um, really cool looking stuff though dude this is this is this is cool <clears throat> uh there's some help helper cards um and then some conditions and some enhancements and we've got um scenario generators okay let's see what else we've got in here um a lot of text on these we got some pvp cards 
and there's some support cards in there as well. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of a, a look at some of the cards. Let's take a look at those miniatures. All right, so we're gonna, gonna look at these uh, pretty close up here. Uh, we've got uh, single piece miniatures, right? Of each, uh, and there's no assembly required on any of these, which is really cool. We've got a, uh, like a robot here, and oh, look at that, she's like hacking it behind, which is super cool. I'm gonna zoom in on some of these. Here, there we go. I like that. That one's super cool. Um, look at this one. This one's look at the, the, the tentacles. That's 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 groovy. I like the bot here. It's got the little flight stand. Just kind of like maybe getting carried away, using it to to fly away, perhaps. This one is uh, this one's nice. You got there's a whole shield. And this is pretty cool too, it's transparent. Look at that. Just saying, you know what? Your bullets cannot harm me. <laughs> you saying I can dodge bullets? I'm saying that when you're ready, you won't have to. <laughs> oh, this guy's hopping over. There we go. So we've got uh, reading, doing a little, or hacking on the brick wall. There's a, there's a lot of personality. Each one of these is like telling a story too, which is which is pretty cool. You can look at each one of these and have it getting very different vibes from each one of them, which I like. Oh, she's kind of go going backwards, like a defensive. Nice for you like to paint your miniatures. Then these are giving you lots of opportunity. This bot looks super cool. He's got like, is that a, tr is he coming out of the sewer? Right, look at his, his hat. Or is he like in a trash, is this like Oscar the Grouch who's finally, you know, steps out of the trash can? That's, <laughs> um, oh, this is one of those big bots. Look at this thing, man. Look at the legs on this, this puppy. That's pretty groove, that's, that's cool. Oh, yes, look at this. Oh, yeah, he's very, He's. I bet you this dude's fast. Uh -huh. That's cool. And Oh, we got like a surfer here. That's that's awesome. And this is a bigger one too. Oh man, is that like a look at that double blade? Oh, that's cool. That is oh, this there's so many. You got a lot of minis in here. And we got a oh my goodness, look at this one. It's like a half kitsune and half snake or a half naga or something. Um that one is is very cool. Um this guy with the, the orbs. Um, got her, her in her chair. We've got, oh, the lake. I don't know if you're in an eggshell. That's that's interesting. Um, this one's pretty cool. Big flowing hair on this guy. So these are pretty cool miniatures. Very cool. Um, very very sci-fi, cyberpunk uh, kind of... Uh, feel to them. I'm digging these. Kind of getting a little anime vibes off of a lot of them too. Okay. I think that's most of them. Here, we'll do one more. Oh, he's scary. <laughs> All right, we'll look at some of the expansions, too. All right, so we're going to take a look at the uh, Forbidden Chapter. Okay. We've got... Now, there may be... I don't know. You, you may see some spoilery stuff in here, so if you're trying to uh, uh, avoid... I'm not going to you know dig too deep into it, but we have a rule book here with um, some, some progress sheets. We've got our, 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 our stuff um, in here as well as the Kitsune uh, card. Uh, we, do, we are gonna have some different uh, places and locations and some different standees or miniatures. You can use either one. And we've got a whole another couple of sets of cards as well as uh, the, la the large and the small cards for he these. And then let's see what kind of miniatures we get in here. 
We're getting this big old sword dude. Man, he's going to butter your bread with that thing. We've got her. We've got this guy. Okay. Oh, that's, that's the uh, Kitsune, isn't it? Is it nine tails? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it eight tails? Okay. Very cool. Well, we've got her. Oh, we got this good looking one. Oh, I like that sword. That sword is cool. And wow, look at that. Is that a scythe he's got? Oh, that's like the Grim Reaper looking scythe right there. Very cool, very cool. And then you've got your, your component in here for once you punch out all of your locations and stuff, you can just stick all the rest of that stuff right in there, which is just, I love, I love that their inserts are so good like that. Very good future-proof stuff. And last is the Katie's Diary. Let me look at this pack as well. And this is a smaller one. Um, this one is, I believe, just a solo mission. Uh, you've got uh, Katie's Lab and a skyscraper in there. And you have some cards in here as well. And, and you've got Katie. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is very anime. Look, at you got the little kitty cat. The little smiley kitty cat face. I swear, I, they love cats. There's a cat... Everywhere. I think all of their games have a cat in some form, don't they? I think so. <laughs> Very cool. All right, guys. So that was a quick look at what you'll find inside the box when you get your copy of Tamashi Chronicles of Ascend. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, I encourage you to stick around. Click that subscribe button. Check some links in the video description for more information as well. I will talk to you guys later. Again, big thanks to Awaken Realms for sending this out. I will talk to you guys later. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.